Hi, boys and girls. Uh, for writing today, we're going to start thinking about another topic that we could maybe write about. And um, I'm going to be showing you lots more examples of stories, more than I did before, I feel like, because um, we talked a lot about illustrations. See, I kind of have back here still all of our illustrations. So we really focused on that. And then we just kind of dove in and tried to write a story. And you'll, you guys did a great job. But we're going to talk a lot more about it in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to read more examples of good narratives. The type of writing we are doing are called narratives, and they are personal narratives. So a narrative is a story, and <clears throat> the fact that it's personal means that it happened to you. And so I pulled up this old anchor chart of things that we talked about, about what we could write about. I added another little chart down here, but I'm going to start really by reading you a narrative. This one's by Ezra Jack Keats and it's called The Snowy Day. So it's just about a day that a little boy played in the snow. Just a really easy topic. So I want to read it to you. <clears throat> one morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. So this starts kind of with one winter morning. We'll talk more about that later, a different day. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. So, so far it started within the morning and then it said after breakfast. So it's kind of progressing through the day, right? He's just telling about his day. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointed out like this, and he walked with his toes pointed in like that. He's walking kind of like a penguin. The pictures match the words, don't they? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Hmm. What do you think it was? Oh, it was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. So do you see how this story is so simple? It's just about a little boy playing in the snow. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. There he is, playing in the snow. <clears throat> he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So you can kind of see what the other kids are doing. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. And then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Did you notice that he put a wet snowball in his pocket and then went into his warm house? Hmm, I don't know if that's gonna work out so well. And he thought and thought and thought about them. <clears throat> Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. This book is also talking about how he feels at different points in the story, right? Kind of remember some of that. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone and the snow was still everywhere. A new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went outside together into the deep, deep snow. <clears throat> oh, and that's the end. So this was just a simple story of a boy telling about a day that he played in the snow. Started when he woke up in the morning talked about where he went after breakfast, who he played with, what he saw, things like that. 
okay? So you're going to kind of think of some things that you could write about. Um, and you can kind of make a list like this. Now, last time we made the list and put it on Seesaw, but the problem with that is that then it goes away and you can't go back to it very well. And I tried sending it back, but that didn't work very well either. So if you want to just use a white piece of paper and brainstorm some ideas of things you could write about and then video yourself telling me a new story. I know you guys are full of stories. I heard so many funny ones. Vance told me a funny story about flushing an apple core down a toilet. It was hilarious. I had stories about people going on hikes, people riding bikes, um, people going to the beach. I had so many different stories and I know you guys have plenty, plenty of stories. So let me get your brains thinking again because we're gonna write a few stories still um, this quarter, okay? So just kind of coming up with an idea. Times I had big feelings, right? Maybe when something scared you or made you happy or, or sad or excited or nervous. Mm, places, uh, things I have done, okay? Maybe you built something or made something or mm, something kind of like that. Something you did at school, something you did at karate or scouts or football, something you've done, okay? Or it could be a place you've gone like a vacation or a trip. Um, or it could be stories about family or pets. Those are pretty fun. Um, <clears throat> so Mrs. Kimmel's going to try to think of a good story to write about. Here's some more ideas down here. I don't think you can see them very well. It talks about family, pets, friends, school, parties, vacations, circuses, holidays, or carnivals. Holidays are a good one, too. If you want to write about like a Halloween or something like that. So your job is just to think of a story. Remember this story, right? Pick a topic and record yourself telling me. We've done this once before, but we're thinking of a new topic for a new story that we're going to be starting pretty soon. Okay?